Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Hypozilla and today is a, another movie review and this one is more out of the ordin uh, out of the ordinary uh, but this is a movie review on one of my biggest inspirations for film uh, and a big inspiration for Godzilla the Father New King especially with the Kaiju in that, uh, that Godzilla will be facing, uh, even though it is an actual figure, uh, I'm sort of customising it to make it more unique. Uh, but this is a review on Kaijuzilla's Mushino. This came out two years and about, uh, uh, about a week ago. Uh, I think it was the 2nd of June it came out uh, and uh, I s messaged Kaijuzilla like, um, on Instagram saying that like, because I received uh, now follows me which was great uh, and I said to him uh, Mushino was one of the biggest inspirations for uh, my Godzilla fan film uh, you, you know, even though this is an actual original, full original monster movie. Uh, but the plot was absolutely amazing. Uh, the characters were really, really well written. Better than most in a Godzilla movie. Uh, and I remember it came out, it was like a week after the film came out and... Uh, I was there to sit with my dad and we watched it and he thought it was really good and uh, yeah um, but now I'm trying to do as best as I can with Godzilla's Thousand and Year King and make it you know look as good as how Mushino does or one of NDK's films pretty much all Kaiju does and NDK's films uh, then you've also got Epic Toxes films um, with his Godzilla Nature's Demon and he's already working on uh, Ghidorah uh, Forever Arrival uh, which is good uh, my, mine will just be simply called Ghidorah <coughs> or King Ghidorah um, like exp uh, and that will be explaining the origins and I'll do a movie re movie review on that but uh, this movie was great uh, out of 10 I give it an 8.5 out of 10 uh, and there was very 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 few issues with it um, I mean the ending was definitely confusing but obviously it sets up you know the third, uh, the third entry, which is got, which is probably like thing like fi uh, for another entry into this. I think it's on thin ice, unless Kajuzilla can work a way around it and put Mushino into full CGI. Uh, I'm so sorry, and make it actually look good. Uh, like a proper good CGI, uh, you know, uh, but he could do that. Uh, but an artist with his more live action films, he tends to like the script he works with. It's barely any dialogue, and it's more atmosphere, and that's what I like about it. Uh, but yeah, also. I know it's just an image, but please, shut up. Um, my PS4 is slow as balls, so I'm going to get a proper thumbnail up uh, later. But Bushido was such a good uh, film, and you know, going. I've watched it about six times. Um, But yeah, uh, Mush uh, goes to how Mushi it goes into how Mushino was created, and he was created because he was in a. 
a Komodo dragon on an island, uh, which if Bikini Atoll Islands, um, or the island of the Bikini Atoll, um, and along with Godzilla and uh, Mushina was there. He got mutated into a giant Komodo dragon, basically, uh, that could basically he does a Gamera. Sim similar thing to what Gamera does and it's like mana but he turns the air around him into heat and he disperses that out of his throat as a sort of red atomic breath except it's not radioactive it's literally just immense heat I believe maybe wrong about that I have no idea uh, but yeah Mushino was such a good film uh, I remember I watched it uh, because, yes, it was a, uh, I believe the premiere feature just got added, and so Kaiju Zilla used that. Uh, yeah, I remember that, because then a month later I started my live streams. No, yes, uh, because then I got offered a role in one of NDK's films, uh, but then... Uh, he, uh, yeah, because it was Alien Revenant, uh, I was, I was going to be an Alien Revenant, uh, and then I believe he gave my roles to someone else, <laughs> so that's just oh, that, that's, that's fine. I thought, I believe he cancelled the film at one point, and then restarted it, but, so then, uh, he just got, I don't know, I can't remember, but I know he joined one of my live streams and then offered a role, uh, <coughs> but yeah, drifting off there, uh, the movie, the end of the movie was really confusing with, uh, with the main character's death, uh, my mind has just suddenly gone blank. I normally remember the character's name, but for some reason I can't right now. Uh, I I know a, a nuke sort of crushes him, and he, you know, he doesn't have the strength to sort of like lift it off of him, uh, and so he just uh, gives up. Everything fades to white or black, and that's sort of a a compilation of. Everything that happened until that point, so it's like a, a, a recap of what, everything that happened, and then uh, and no, I don't know if it was post credits or uh, pre credits. Um, but then it sort of and. Uh, ends or uh, with uh, aliens and the uh, humans saying oh like what uh, what does uh, what do you want uh, like, uh, what it's like you need to stop machine or something otherwise uh, your whole world's gonna go to crap uh, and then they shoot the alien and that's that that was a confusing ending. I know in the comments it confused everyone. Uh, like I don't uh, think everyone thought the ending was sort of unsatisfying. And all there was also a final shot where Mushino started roaring, and then it fades to black, or well, like cuts to black. Um, yeah, it was a, it was a. Uh, you definitely got some sort of 2014 vibe with the sort of teasing of the monster uh, and I know that's how Kaijuzilla likes to roll like likes to roll with he likes to tease the monster uh, as much as he can uh, before um, <coughs> you know Uh, and it's kind of the opposite with others like if you look at 
NDK, he shows the monsters as much as he can. He, in fact, he, he's a bit of a mix. Um, and then Louis Duran, he's sort of show more monsters than the actual human screen time and develop the monsters more which is is not the best world because then the human characters are sort of there and the unnecessary like uh, I believe Kajizilla like did say like uh, that uh, Godzilla Force of Nature or something like that would have been better without the uh, humans in it. I don't know. I watched the review. Uh, but yeah. Uh, that is all for this review. I give next I'm probably going to go over and watch Louis Duran's uh, Godzilla Force of Nature. Uh, one, two, three, and do a mega review of those. Because uh, I actually liked them. Believe it or not, I liked them. Uh, I liked all of them. I, I really liked them. And I'll go on to how those were another sort of one of my inspirations for. It, it, like, it was a mi uh, mix of Kaijuzilla, there's Mushino, and. Louis Duran's Force in Nature series. <clears throat> Just like how Louis Duran also inspired me to make uh, Godzilla and Friends, which will obviously never be as successful because I am only a YouTube channel with 200 odd subscribers. Uh, and it's like. I've had 7,000 people watch that King Ghidorah review and I've only gained 100 subscribers from that. Uh, and also the Godzilla, that giant Godzilla review. And I wish... Actually more did subscribe then. Like... To be at that point of like maybe three, four 400. Uh, because... It might be another... F nine months before I can get to get to a higher point get to maybe 300 uh, but yeah that's all uh, leave a like and subscribe uh, because of my crappy 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 movie review uh, you know I leave distaste uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, go check out everyone I mentioned: Epic Toxie, uh, Kajuzilla, and Louis Durand are all really great people. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time.